Well, hello everybody. I am back. It is Jeff again, and I'm back on the Minecraft server. And as you've noticed, I have jumped up to the 1.9 pre-release 5, the only way I can join this server now. Uh, which is probably how I'm going to play my uh, Goods Challenge map and see how that works too. I'm probably not going to downgrade every time I play. There is a little quirk with this. I had to do some testing because uh, the keys have changed. And F9 now does something in Minecraft. And um, that makes it so I can't use my fraps like I normally do. So I have to hit F7. I change it too because I think that's okay. I just got to remember that when I record because otherwise I'm going to not be recording properly. Now... Most people are escaping this area from what I've seen to some some of the simple let's plays um, thus far of the since we started this new server with the pre-release on it. They're escaping this area and moving on and finding a new spot to set up shop. I will be doing that soon too, but I've got some work to do here. What I've done so far is I've managed to find one sheep. I put him in this little pen. I need to get him a mate. Or her a mate, I guess. Um so I need to venture out just to find a sheep because I got some work to do here still. I got some wool I need to collect to finish my fire station. And that's my goal. There's a lot of zombies here. Now, this whole animal breeding thing has me a little confused because you can breed sheep, you can breed chickens, etc., etc. For one, there's no roosters in here. But you know what? I, I guess that works. Chickens already lay eggs, and somehow they spawn baby chickens, but whatever. I can I can deal with that. The main confusion I have is when it comes to cows. Now, breeding two cows together probably wouldn't do too much in the real world, because as far as I understand, there are no bulls in Minecraft. <laughs> um, so that makes things a little, a little odd, because we're, we're breeding two female animals together, and still getting a baby animal. Man, can you breed squid? Not that I ever want squid, but I'm just curious. Come here, little squids. Ooh, this area is kind of neat. This has been right behind my house the whole time. Will they follow me? Follow me, squid. Ah, uh, no, he will not eat my wheat. Poor little squid. I don't know if I can trudge sheep through the water that well either, so I might have to find a little bit more of a landlocked location. There's lots of clay though from a brick. I will come back and get that at a later time. I'm sure there's plenty in this map. I just need to find a sheep. One little sheep to start my, my breeding colony. Um, I'm going to use and abuse them like they are pieces of meat even though sheep do not give meat in this game. They will still be used and abused for my satisfaction of wool. Oh, weird. Dead grass. What is this? Oh, that's just a good old dirt block. It's just ashen. Ashen dirt block. This is kind of cool. I would just turn off the video and let you guys uh, come back to you guys when I found a sheep and I'm trailing him trailing him home, but uh, since I have yet to see any of this area, I figure you guys might also want to just partake in a little bit of it just to check it out and see how it is. I have not seen any type of friendly mobs since I've been here, though. None at all. I mean, I am kind of close to spawn, and maybe people's endermen have been here, though. Maybe people's initial intention when we got this pre-release was to go get some animals. So they easily could have cleared out... Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, there's a sheep. There's sheared sheep, but I don't think that matters. You know what? You guys can come home with me. Hi, little sheepy. Bah. Come on, little sheep. Follow me. I... Oh, I didn't mean to feed him. Crap. I gave him some wheat, but he is still thus far uninterested in following me. He's a little excited though. Maybe I'll just go to this other sheep. Okay, this one's following me. You, sir, are all I need. Forget that other sheep. We'll make more. Hey. Okay, there's another. We're going to get you into this pen and out of this pen. 
inside. I guess I got a cow too. That's okay. You can come cow. We will call you a bull. We will pretend. Come on. Come on. I know from the outside somebody would look like I'm stealing his stuff, but you saw I just went in one door and out the other. I'm not stealing his animals. Though these are sheep that have been shaved already. Come on, little fellas. Whoa. Now, one thing I will show you guys momentarily that I do not like in this new pre-release, and maybe I just have a buggy version of it. I'm not sure. It's more of an annoyance than anything, so it's not going to be anything that's game-changing. Um, hopefully. I don't think it will be. I mean, the possibility always does exist that it... It screws me up pretty detrimentally when I'm not expecting it to, but I'll show you guys in a minute. I'll show you guys even if I come across. To, oh, here's one right here. I'll just show you right here. So if I'm looking at this chest and I kind of look at it and I go into the chest and I exit the chest, I wasn't off kilter enough. Um, maybe that's why he's got them hovering. I'll show you ones on the ground. It it automatically changes your field of view back down. It's kind of weird, or back to center. It's very strange and. Um, it's really throwing me off with my the way I have my chest placed. This one's actually not doing too bad. It like it knocks your head down just a little bit every time you enter and exit a chest, and it's really annoying. Come on, fellas. Too bad I didn't get a second cow while I was out there, just so I could start two little breeding colonies. I should really watch where I'm going because it's getting dark and there could easily be creepers right around where I'm at. Speaking of which, I should probably cover this sheep pen because that could get awfully dangerous. Come on in, cow. You're welcome. What they do to you in here, I'm, I'm not responsible for, though. So I need you to be in love and you to be in love. And you guys need to do your thing. Oh, and a baby. Look at my little baby. I wonder how long it takes them to grow up. Are they still Randy? Come here. Wait. Why can't I make you... Why can't I make you want to, have to mate again? I want you to mate again. Come here. The babies can't mate. Do they need like time? Do they need time to relax? I guess this is their emotional period where they just want to cuddle. Well, I guess she wants to cuddle. He wants a sandwich. Let's see if I can go to sleep and come back and do that again. Because I need lots of wool. wonder if there's any rules on uh... Oh, look in this. Also, it made my fences connect to this wall. I don't know how much I like that. We'll find out as the season progresses. Okay, so it's still a baby. And they still can't mate anymore. Do I need more than two sheep? I thought I could breed lots of them. I wonder how long you have to wait before you can start actually breeding these sheep. I don't know. They breed it pretty quickly. There's a creeper. Let's go take him out. I need to start my own wheat farm, I think, because... There we go. If I'm going to be doing as much planting and such as I want, or as much breeding as I want to, then uh, I'm going to need... The baby will not. He will not. He will not. The cow probably still will. The cow is still in love. But none of these other animals are. Do they want bread now? No, they don't want bread. Maybe they won't mate with their baby around. Come on, baby. Okay, I guess you can stay in there. I don't know what's really going on with this. I don't know why I'm going in and out of doors aimlessly either, but, uh, hmm. 
So, I'm not ready to leave yet. I've got some things to finish in here. I'm not ready to move on. Uh, but I can't finish those things until... I hear a spider. I can't finish those things until I get some breeding going on. So, I might just have to end this episode pretty prematurely and come back later with another episode of of more sheep and my building and things like that until I can get on out of here. I gotta make sure the town is safe before I go. Like, it's not safe right now. If a fire goes up, goes anywhere, I mean, it's it, it's game over. Everything light on fire. Stone and everything. The house thinks it's safe, but fire's gonna travel up those vines. Like, it's gonna be crazy if I'm not prepared. Hmm. I mean, you can always splash around in here. Come on, breed. Hmm. I'll have to look at the rules on this stuff. Um, so anyways, what I'm doing now in in real life, um, besides everything else that I got going on still, I started playing um, the next episode of The Silver Lining. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Uh, I'm very nostalgic in my video games. I uh, used to play the whole King's Quest series. and The Silver Lining is the, the reintroduction of the King's Quest series by a group called Phoenix Online that almost lost their ability to do this after they got permission from Sierra. Sierra sold the company off. The next person that bought it actually gave them a cease and desist letter at first, but then decided to honor old, all old agreements that Sierra had, so they're allowed to make this game. It's an absolutely free game. I suggest you look it up if you were ever into the, uh, into the uh, whole King's Quest series back in the day. King's Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest, all those Quest series. Um, it, it's very well done, and I'm kind of currently working on that and we're going to kind of see how that all goes as as the game progresses so i will see you guys next time um and we'll leave this as a short video so thanks for watching guys and i'm back with the 1.9 pre-release 5